Cost Estimating Process Cost Estimating Performance Framework is built as a cycle of eight steps. Step 1, Establish Brief and Engage the Team. Understand Project Brief Outcomes. Establishing a full project brief and setting clear objectives at the outset of the project and at the start of each stage gate cycle is an important step in producing a robust cost estimate. This will inform the appropriate resource considerations, support the production of a detailed plan of works and enable clear definition of accountabilities. Get the right team. Using the information gained from the project brief, the focus should turn to identifying the right technical team to produce the cost estimate. The team should engage the market to understand the capacity and current market climate. The cost estimate should not be developed as an isolated exercise, but a collaborative team effort where design and delivery stakeholders provide timely input. Set up review points. The project leadership should agree clear cost estimate review and assurance points using a review panel. Independent assurance or approach comprising diverse views with expertise tailored to that required in the project. The reviewers should have continuity across the life cycle of the project to improve the knowledge base and implement lessons learned. Step 2. Gather data and document assumptions. The cost estimating team must review the underlying data throughout the project life cycle, incorporating new information and any lessons learned as the project develops. Cost estimate assumptions should be communicated clearly across the different project stakeholders, this ensures that the context which underpins the cost estimate is both clear, agreed and correctly interpreted by the cost estimating team in line with the project direction. Step 3. Select Cost Estimating Methodology There are many recognized methods for cost estimation. Identifying the most appropriate one based on the project's maturity and the quality of underpinning data is critical. It is important that the methodology selected is supported by a clear evidence-based justification. The cost estimate methodology should be reviewed and reflected upon as the cost estimate evolves and as the project progresses through the project stages. It is common to combine and use different methods to produce a cost estimate in situations where a subcomponent of the project is mature whilst other areas do not have enough definition or evidence. Data Once the methodology is selected, the project team may return to step 2 gather data and evidence, to revisit the cost estimate data requirements. Step 4, calculate base estimate, uncertainty, risk and opportunity. This step is the core of the cost estimating practice, where the key components of the cost are quantified. Base cost estimate. The base cost estimate is the calculation of the expected cost, based on the available information, the assumptions, and the method selected. Escalation The base cost estimate must be base dated to a given point in time, which can either be past, current or future date. Common practice is to base date the cost estimate to the current date. If the base is historical or future dated, then the cost estimate report must contain clear evidence on the calculation that has been used to account for inflation between the current and historical or future date. Uncertainty Uncertainty is driven by three factors. Variability due to lack of design maturity. Lack of data maturity based on information that is generic or extrapolated from experience or assumptions. For example, geotechnical data for ground works. Bias or error, conscious or unconscious assumptions that lean towards values that are not accurate. Step 5. Produce cost estimate report. After completing the calculations of the cost components, the cost estimating team must consolidate them into a clear and consistent report that will support project decisions. The report should include The rationale and methodology used in producing the cost estimate which should include reference to the work breakdown structure evidence the information upon which it is based. Including sources and maturity assumptions upon which the cost estimate is based and exclusions from the cost estimate total the costs in aggregate and more granular breakdown depending on the design maturity threats and opportunities for consideration by the project director. Key risk information should be summarized within a single page prioritized recommendations of next steps, including priority areas to further narrow the uncertainty evidence of review undertaken on the cost estimate. 
the cost estimate must clearly articulate the anticipated final cost in a range of possible values reflecting the confidence of the cost estimate. Step 6, Review and Assure Reviewing and assuring cost estimates is a leading practice to improve the accuracy of and confidence in the cost estimate. It is important to establish the aims, objectives, and expectations for reviews up front to prevent any confusion or ambiguity once the project is underway. The review and assurance plan should articulate the inputs, outputs, and required project interactions to ensure clarity in communication and accountability. It should also identify the different types of reviews which will be sought on the cost estimate at various points. Continuity of the review team is preferred to build trust and foster better interaction with the project team. When the project complexity and size justify it, assurance should be undertaken by a completely independent team from that of the project's estimators, designers, managers, executives, sponsors and stakeholders. Assurance is particularly important leading up to leadership sign-off and decision-making on the cost estimate at key stage gates. Step 7, Project Leadership Sign-Off The purpose of the sign-off process is to give project leadership an opportunity to clarify and challenge the cost estimate data. Understand it and formally acknowledge their ownership to rely on its insights when governing the project. The documents covered in the sign-off process are Project Cost Estimate Cost Estimate Report Risk Register Assumptions Register any observations and recommendations captured in the review and assurance when accepting the cost estimate. The project leadership must understand and validate the relationship of the cost estimate alongside the scope, schedule, options, and commercial strategy of the project. Step 8. Use the cost estimate to support decision making. The process should be used to lend weight to discussions held with decision makers. Regarding the positioning of the project within a realistic cost range to ensure that successful delivery is challenging but achievable. It is recommended that as the project progresses the methodology set out here is actively used and revisited to help set and challenge the appropriate budget and support key decisions to keep. Successful delivery on track.